Good morning to my Abundant Life Church family in Lakewood, Washington. This is Pastor Pete. It's Thursday, the 29th of April, 2021. And also I'll say good morning to my friends and family uh, greeting me on the in- internet today. It's time for coffee, like usual. It's our Coffee with Pete uh, Thursday morning get together with time for some coffee conversation, a look into God's word and a little bit more uh, glimpse at understanding who he is and who we are and uh, just how life, how to make some sense of this life. So grab your coffee, grab your Bible. We're going to open up today in the book of Jeremiah, the Old Testament, Jeremiah 17th chapter, 7th verse, Jeremiah 17, 7. The verse says, <clears throat> let me read it to you. The verse says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. And I find this verse uh, really interesting for a lot of reasons, but that contrast of, first of all, just whose trust is in the Lord, and then whose trust is the Lord, gives us two very distinctly nuanced, but distinctly different uh, concepts of what it means to have trust and and be in a relationship with God. Um, first of all, to be blessed, let's just talk about that. We'll break the word down just for a second here. But to be blessed is to be praised. To be blessed is to be praised. When we bless God, when we praise him, when we when we worship him and we lift our praises and we give him adoration, we're basically considering his character, who he is, the attributes that God has, the the way that he is towards us, the promises that he's made. And who he is, we're we're praising him for that. That's what that's how we bless God, because it'd be some people would say it's impossible to bless God because God is so much higher. Well, in fact, that is how we do it when we praise him for who he is, and when we from our hearts really express our sincere adoration of him. That's how we are blessing God. And then in the contrast of that, or or the companion to it, if you will, when we are blessed, and this scripture says, "Blessed is the man." Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. We get blessed with the benefits of knowing God. And we ask him for that. That's commonly what our prayers are about. God, will you bless me, please? Will you bless my family? Will you bless my friends? Will will you heal us? Will you provide for our physical and our emotional and our financial needs? God, please bless us like you promised you would. Well, what we're asking is the benefits of knowing God and acknowledging in our relationship of knowing him that we know because of his character and the attributes and the power that he has, he is capable of blessing us. And we ask him to pour that out. And, you know, the result of that is not just that our lives are good, which is a great result, right? Um, And not just good now, but they'll be good forever because we'll be with him. But Also, one real uh, significant uh, result of God blessing us is that our character begins to reflect his character. That as he's generous to us, we become generous to him. As he is compassionate to us, we become compassionate to others. And I said generous to him, generous to others is what I meant. As he is faithful and, and patient with us, we become that for others. And so... That is the blessing we receive so that we could pass it on. Now, the other thing that's in in the scripture is talking about trust. Whose trust is the God, Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. Trust is uh, when we have trust in another person, we have confidence in that person. Um, Sometimes it's in ourselves, right? We have confidence in ourselves. I only trust myself. Well, that person becomes more and more isolated. And in time, we really need to understand that our trust needs to be in other people. And the greatest trust we could have is a trust in God. And so when we have confidence in God, when we appreciate and understand and know his character, and we have confidence in that character, that gives us security. We now can feel very much like we are going to be okay. Everything is going to be provided for And life is going to go on in a way that's going to make some sense. You know, from that, the real fruit from that is living a life of boldness, living a life with this confidence and this security that I can go forward. And if I'm reflecting God's character, 
then I'm going to be successful in his kingdom. And that is our ultimate, ultimate goal. Let, let me read you this scripture one more time. I want to read it to you. I read it to you the first time through the ESV, the English Standard Version. I want to read it to you from the Amplified Version, which I find to be a very uh, rich, nuanced, uh, almost like a companion uh, uh, Bible version that gives more indication and more meaning of what the verse is actually saying. So here's that same verse from the Amplified Version. Blessed with spiritual security is the one who believes and trusts, who believes and trusts in and relies upon the Lord and whose hope and confident expectation is the Lord. So again, we get this contrast. Well, that's really rich, right? But we get this contrast of for this day, for this time in this life, that's the first half of the scripture. I have security and and I believe in and I trust in God and I rely upon him for this life. But then the second one, second part of the verse, and whose hope and confident expectation is the Lord, looks forward to the day when Jesus returns, takes his church home with him, establishes his kingdom on this earth. And, and our expectation and our hope and our trust is in his return. So there's so much more in that second part because it's an eternal thing. It's about our relationship with God forever. Our hope is God. We just don't hope in God, some distant God to provide for us today. Our hope actually is God and his promise. And, it, and remember in his character, he keeps his promises. He is long suffering and patient and faithful. His promise is to come and redeem us one day, take us home with him. And that's the best hope we could have, the best trust we could have, the best confidence we need to have. So friends, God bless you today. I pray that, that this verse will be alive and true for you, that, that you will be blessed because your trust is in the Lord and your trust is the Lord. I pray that prayer for you this day in Jesus' name. Amen.